Now I'm very excited because um, Christmas came early this year and I managed to get myself one of these new Forcada intercoms. And just in time as my doorbell is about to fail and I was about to replace it anyways. Now, yes, you can say uh, this is bigger. Obviously, the use case is not a regular uh, residence and it won't run on batteries. But with a regular CAT6 cable that will provide it PoE plus and access to the internet, I now have not only a doorbell, but also a full-blown Vercada camera. And as any other Vercada camera, it will store footage on itself for 30 days, allow me to back it up to the cloud, create as much archives as I want, and also utilize advanced features such as our motion search and even better, face search. As you can imagine, this is in the perfect position to capture faces and start your investigation. Now, although I do not use access control at my house, at least not now, it is worth noting that this will work not only with Vercada's access control, but also with any third-party controllers that support intercoms. And all via relay that needs to be installed at the back of the unit. Whenever somebody rings my door, I'll be able to pick up the calling command, or if I'm not in front of my PC, utilize my Vercada Pass app. Both of them will allow me for two-way communication. One of the very exciting things about this product is that besides the status LED, which is very similar to all the other Vercada products, namely, it will either be flashing or solid blue, or solid or flashing orange, this also has a bank of white LEDs that will pop up at boot and indicate if that was successful. If for a reason one of the steps has failed, only a certain number of LEDs will turn on, thus making my life much easier when troubleshooting it. In the same box, we get the install guide, which is accessible by scanning the QR code and some screws for drywalls. I also ordered some accessories as well. And that's something that you should be thinking of before deploying it. The most common one is the surface mount. And this is for any deployments where you cannot put the intercom directly into the wall. You might not have an opening large enough. With the surface mount, you will be able to run wires through the mount itself and then back into the intercom. For my install, however, I'll do something completely different. I'll use one of these angle mounts. The reason being is because I do not live in a mansion, I don't have a lot of space to play around with and I do not want the intercom's position to be awkward. Last but not least, I'll also be using one of these, the rain hood, to shield the camera from the rain. I'm just gonna add the device, uh, just I would, a camera or an access controller by selecting first the site it goes into, making sure the address is correct, Remember, the time zone is dictated by that. And instead of typing the serial number, I'll just use the laptop's camera to scan the QR code on the box. Now, once I click activate, this is where things start to differ because I'm gonna be going through a simple uh, setup menu that will allow me to update and provision the intercom. I already plugged it in, so you'll see that most of these steps don't take a lot of time. But once they're all complete, I'll just press the next button and make my first call by pressing the button. And afterwards, I get a nice graphic congratulating me on the nice work. And I can see that the camera streams correctly uh, into command. 
With this, you also get a setup checklist, which is very, very useful because you can pair your access control doors, pair uh, one or two cameras in the vicinity, and uh, add multiple receivers. Remember, the good part about Verkada Intercoms is that you are allowed to add multiple persons and create your own personalized flow in and out of hours. And afterwards, let me show you a couple of pictures from the installed. Uh, remember, I used my angle mount and pushed a Ethernet cable through it. There is a small accessory in the box that allows you to pierce the protective cover in order to seal the, the cable. And once the intercom was up on the wall, I just had to remove the film and voila, it looks amazing.